Hi, my name is Cody Light with Echo Fuse. Today I'm standing in front of a Fent 900 Gen 6. We will discuss how to set up your Trimble Range Point or Center Point RTX through the Varial Terminal. To set up your Trimble Range Point RTX or Center Point RTX service from your home screen, you will want to double tap the Guidance button. Once you're in there, you will want to set your system settings. And once from system settings, you will want to go into your correction signal setup. Here, your signal type by default is SBAS. You will want to hit that drop down, and now you will want to choose your range point RTX or center point RTX satellite selection depending on what the customer purchased through the Echo dealer. Some use cases as to why to go from WAS to range point RTX is mainly the ability to see more satellites, which will lessen the likelihood of you losing your signal when you're out there in the field. If you've run WAS for a while, you've probably noticed that along a tree line, especially to the north, uh, you have a tendency of losing that signal and sitting there to reconverge to be able to continue farming can be frustrating. Range point RTX will increase your ability to have that productivity and efficiency throughout the entirety of your farming operation. Now if you go into something that needs more accuracy like a row crop type of farming where you're planting corn or side dressing, that's a great reason to upgrade to Centerpoint RTX. Centerpoint RTX will give you the 1.2 inch pass to pass, but it will also be repeatable in that same area. So if you're planting corn and you want to come back and side dress, Centerpoint RTX is definitely the way that you want to go. While in your correction signal settings, you will want to choose range point RTX or center point RTX satellite. Now, when it goes to your upgrade of your receiver, depending on what correction service you want, will depend on what upgrades you need. If you're running range point, there's no upgrade needed. The standard uh, submeter will work for you. If you're going to center point RTX, if you're using the standard service, you will need to upgrade your receiver to the decimeter accuracy level. If you're going to center point RTX fast, you will need to upgrade your receiver to centimeter. That is a prerequisite before you can actually utilize or see these selections in your signal type menu. Again, we're going to show center point RTX, so we select that. And under your signal settings, it will come up as automatic. Uh, sometimes you will have to do that as user defined. So if you hit that drop down, you can simply hit user defined and type in the settings according. When it's an automatic, you will see that the frequency is 155.8080. The variable terminal does add an extra zero to the end of that, and that is perperfectly fine and it will work just fine. Your baud rate will be 2400. And again, those two settings are very important if you have to use the user defined because automatic is not working for you. You will see here that we are on lock to centimeter and the expiration date of the service. The service will come into you as an over the air update, but in the case that that may not work, even though you have your machine outside of the barn and a clear view of the sky, you can also go in and type in your authorization code within the receiver settings. So we will back up, go to our receiver setting menu, and in the authorization code input, you will simply push that and type in the code that you get from your Echo dealer. Once you do that, you can go back to your correction signal menu and you should see that your expiration date changes to match your subscription service end date. And that is all you have to do to set up your range point RTX or Trimble center point RTX service. Thanks for watching.